So the past couple of days I have been really unwell. I got the flu and I was in bed all day yesterday. I felt absolutely horrid but it was the perfect opportunity to get some reading done. Reading always helps me escape and obviously as you may have guessed by now it's a preferred form of passing the time when I have free time to do so. Um, I haven't had a lot of free time recently because I recently started a new job in which I'm loving but it does leave me a bit consumed with it at the moment with it all being brand new. So I haven't had that much time to delve into reading but I've spent the last couple of days reading and vlogging it for you but I just wanted to come and say hi and check in now that I'm feeling slightly on the mend and go through what I've read so far this December. I was going to do vlogmas but then I obviously ended up having this new job and then getting on well so it just didn't go to plan um but yeah I hope you've enjoyed these couple of days and I'm going to be vlogging for a couple more and um just finding some comfort in reading and books um as I'm sure you can relate to so let me talk you through what I've read so far my thoughts and then let's get into reading some more good books beginning of the first book I've read so far this December is The Dead Romantics. I've begun listening to this on audiobook 
to begin with and then I just didn't endure it for some reason I just couldn't get into it and I just wasn't liking it I found it very slow paced to begin with and it was very different from what I had been advertised it was about um and yeah I ended up finishing it by physically reading it rating it three stars and I've also begun starting to put little reviews in the um first page of my books just so I can refer back to them and I don't know, it just adds a bit of a personal touch to my library. Um, but here I've said that I've rated it three stars and that I found that the main character was very self-pitying and it, that made it very hard for me to personally connect with them. Um, it was all quite predictable as most of these books are, like most of these uh, rom com type books are, I suppose, but it's it's so much heavier than rom-com it does deal with the death of a parent and it has a really heavy topic of grief because of that in which was really interesting to see how they dealt with this um and it had a bit of a fantasy twist to it almost um which was really interesting again another added element but overall the relationship was okay between our two main characters um but i wouldn't recommend this one personally if i was to start afresh and read it again that's what i mean by would i recommend it it's not necessarily would I recommend it to you it's what I recommend myself if I couldn't remember this book at all to read it again um, and sadly I wouldn't for this book then the next book I delved into was Fangs and I love this edition it's so stunning so beautiful um it's a little graphic novel about this vampire and werewolf and their unlikely relationship and it was so very cute, I rated it 4 stars and I just found it really wholesome and kind of on the topic of that everyone can find the third person and find love and it was just a really wholesome and lovely read to speed read through when I had a morning of not feeling so good so I definitely do recommend this one. Then next up I read a few short stories in which was things have gotten worse since we last spoke and other misfortunes. So this one was three short stories and they were just so interesting. They started off so normal and then just got creepy and weird and magical realism almost like near the end of them and I just really enjoyed them. Um, they were just a lot of fun to read and get your brain heavily confused while reading them. I haven't read a lot in this sort of genre of books um, but I'm hoping to read more and actually my current read is very similar. I am currently reading Parallel Howls in which this is multiple short stories. I think it has about 13 13 in so I feel like that is something for everyone in this one but obviously if you don't really like this type of writing or this type of storytelling with this extra horror kind of magical realism element in then you won't enjoy any of these but yeah I feel like even if you don't enjoy it you enjoy that type of writing but don't enjoy a couple in this you have a couple more chances to read some good stories um but yeah this one was good three stars from me and I would definitely would recommend it if you're interested in that type of book. Then next up I read Milk Fed and this is something different to anything I've somewhat read before. Um, it was Jewish, it was queer, um, it followed identity, I feel like it has a heavy trigger warning for eating disorders and control eating. Um, it included therapy and toxic parental relationships, it was quite erotic and it included bisexuality as well. I rated this one 3 stars. Um, it was so chaotic, so unpredictable, the main character was slightly unhinged and yeah, it was just such an interesting read, just following this woman and what she's up to, like her bisexual shenanigans and her controlled eating way, going to therapy, doing with toxic parental relationships and just being a reformed Jew as well. Um, I wouldn't recommend myself to read this again personally as I just didn't connect with it or enjoy it as much as I initially hoped I would. Um, the writing was good but in parts I found it a little lacklustre but again another personal opinion and I rated this one 3 stars but if all those sound interesting to you then pick this one up. Then the final book I've read so far this month is Camilla. Um, this is so tiny and so interesting. I do have to say that I read Camilla and Laura in which is like a retelling of this book 
before I read this book, which I don't know why I did that because I really preferred Camilla and Laura and I've said in my little review here, I feel like that's what skewed my opinion on this book. Obviously the original is going to be fantastic and I really did enjoy this one, I rated it three stars again. Um, but yeah, perhaps I should have read this one first and then Camilla and Laura and I would have been able to give this one more praise. So much fun and like I say, I just feel like I was just rereading Camilla and Laura just without a bit of an added romantic relationship within it. Um, but still, very good and I recommend. So, as mentioned, my current read is now Parallel House. It's really interesting. It's so bizarre, so confusing, um, and obviously follows the horror uh, genre. Um, but yeah, that's all I have to update you on so far. I'm going to continue reading Parallel House and perhaps dive into a few more books. Um, but I will keep you updated as I go along. So, let's get to it, friends. So I just finished Parallels Hell, or uh, Parallel Hells. Um, it was really good. I really did enjoy it. I would say my favorite short stories from this was Suckers, and then I also really enjoyed World Pork and Opium, and then also Lick the Dust. I would say those are my favorite out of these short stories. I think there are around thirteen short stories in here. Um. And just really interesting the formatting was played around within this book the writing was different from one short story to the next so unpredictable so unexpected um full of magical realism and horror and yeah i just really enjoyed it and um, i definitely recommend if any of those sound interesting to you then to pick this one up it was so good I just finished Parallel House um, and now I think I'm gonna pick something a bit lighter. I'm not really in the mood for um, like a heavy book or because it's like a lot of brain power because I've been reading a lot of short stories so I think I'm gonna go like A Lady for Duke and hopefully it's just like an easy growing read that is just a lot of fun to get into. I've just got loads of random piles of my TBR here. Um, I think it's because I got a lot of bit more recently, so I just stacked it up here. And then, of course, I have my other TBR section over here. But yeah, I think I'm going to go for a lady for a duke and see how I get on. Mm -hmm. 